Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for T's. We have been solving T's math problem out of this book here. The T's official study guide, official study manual rather, year 2021. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today we'll, we'll continue where we, from where we left off yesterday on page number 159. On page 159 there are five percentage problems. There are five percentage problems. We did three of them, uh, we did two of them yesterday and today we're going to pick up with number three. We'll do number three, four and five. If you decide that that is not enough and that you want to practice some more of percentage problems, you have two options. One option is to watch the original series that I made on my channel you will find a series of 80 videos, day 1 through 80, based on T's 5 which came out in 2012. And as I've explained to you before, even though it's 8 years old, I assure you that they have not changed the math. Math is still math. You can watch that series and you will get something out of it. And for this particular topic, the percentage problem that you're about to do, if you want to practice on the percentage problems, on my series, on my video again, on my, on my channel again, you will find a series of video called Basic Math. Just type in my name. Always type in my name as I've explained to you before also several times. Without my name, of course, you're going to get a thousand different hits. Just type in Kishwani, Basic Math, Day 33. And that's where the series begins, Day 33 through 40. On the first day of Day 33, we just talk about percentage formula. And then it, after that, we begin solving, the, solving some problems. And you'll get some practice over there, some additional practice. Let's look at number three. On page number 159, we are told that the regular price of something is $50. We are also told that it is marked 25% off. The question simply is, what is the reduced price? What is the reduced price of this item that has been marked 25% off, which regularly sells for $50? Well, it's very straightforward. If it sells for $50, we know half of 50 is 25. Half of 50 is 25. So this represents 50%, this represents 50%. And we also know that half of 25 is 12 and a half. If you take half of 25, it's 12 and a half. And if you have trouble figuring it out, half of 25, always convert it into an even number, the lower number that is. Half of 24 is 12, and half of the other one would be half. So there you go. So this represents, let me change the color. Let me change the color. Why do you ask? Because we have the flare for the dramatics. And that's precisely why we're going to change the color. Because we have the flare for the dramatics. So this represents, this, this, this $25 represents 50%, because that's half of 50. And this amount represents 25%. Because this is 50% and we take half of that and half of that, half of 50% is 25%. But we don't have to pay this 25% because it's 25% off. We just have to pay the 25% and the 50%. In other words, we just have to figure out what is 25 plus 12 and a half. There you go. 25 plus 12 and a half. This 25 represents 50%. This 12 and a half represents another 25%. Looks like we're going to have to pay. Looks like we're going to have to pay thirty-seven and a half dollars, or thirty-seven fifty. So that was one way of doing it. That was one way to approach it. Other way could have, other way we could have solved the same problem is this way. Instead of making it some mumbo jumbo, simply understand that if it is twenty-five percent off, if 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 something is twenty-five percent off then what we are paying is 75%. What we are paying, what we are paying is 75% of the price. 75% of something is 3 quarter. I hope you know that. 1 quarter of something is 25%, 2 quarters which is half, which is 50% and 3 quarters is 75%. All we have to do is figure out 3 quarter of 50. Let's do that, shall we? I'm going to rewrite this thing because I don't like the way it looked. 3 quarter of 50. 
three quarter or fifty. It is very important that you stay with me in the story. Okay? Let's divide top and bottom by two. If you divide top and bottom by two, the four will become two and fifty will become twenty-five. So far so good. So far so good. The drama is going to begin at this point. Let's divide top and top and bottom one more time by two, but this time we're going to use this three. If you divide top and bottom by two, two is going to go away, and three it becomes one and a half. If you divide the three, that becomes one and a half. All you have to figure out is what is one and a half times twenty-five. Let's do this. let's do that here. One and a half times twenty-five. You will see that you will see that this is the exact same concept what we did before. So we take one times twenty-five. Remember twenty-five. Remember what twenty-five represented? Twenty-five represented fifty percent. So we take one times twenty-five, which is fifty percent, and then we take a half of twenty-five. Then we take the half of twenty-five. Half of twenty-five is twelve and a half, which is the other twenty-five uh, percent, fifty percent, and twenty-five percent. It's the exact same thing. Of course, it's the exact same thing. The answer is not going to change just because you use a different method. Do you understand? Let's do one more. Number four. Number four says that if we are going to buy a computer. We're going to buy a computer that's going to cost us five hundred and fifty dollars. Unfortunately, we also have to pay sales tax, which is six and a half percent tax. Six and a half percent tax. So the question, the question now is. How much are we going to pay total for the item? Let's find out, shall we? We need the room, so I have to erase all of this thing. Since, since we're talking about six and a half percent, which is exactly what we're going to figure out right now, so if I were to go out to, bar, to market and want buy something which costs five hundred and fifty, uh, and and if the if the tax was six and a half percent, even before I get to the register, I can quickly figure out in my head. What I'm going to have to pay total six and a half percent of fifty is not that difficult. The reason I started this thing is because it sort of touched my touch a nerve. I live, I live in Connecticut, and for the longest time, for the longest time, the tax used to be six and a half percent. But then, do you know what happened? Then the politicians got greedy, and now instead of six and a half percent, oh no, it used to be six and a quarter percent. It used to be six and a quarter percent, which I also could very, do very easily. Finding out quarter percent of something is not that difficult. And then they got the, the, they got really, and instead of six point two five percent, now the sales tax is six point three five percent, and they have no idea what sort of havoc wreaks in my brain as I'm approaching the register, because figuring out six point three five percent of something in the head is a little bit more difficult than figuring out six and a quarter percent. But do you suppose they do give? Do you suppose they give a damn? No, they do not think of Mr. Kishwani. They don't care. Anyway, on that note, let's figure out. Six and a half percent of fifty. Six and a half percent of five hundred and fifty, not fifty. Five hundred and fifty. Let's do it out. We're going to do a couple of different ways. Okay, we'll do it a couple of different ways. And listen, if you're going to do a couple of different ways, it'll be better. If I don't use up this much room, six and a half percent of five fifty. Let's do it together, shall we? Let's stay with me. Six and a half percent means over one hundred. Of means times five fifty. So far, so good. Let's turn to color. So we have a little bit of drama going on in here. Let's divide top and bottom by ten. If you divide top and bottom by ten, the zero drops out. Let's divide one more time top and bottom by five because they are both multiples of five. If you divide ten by five, you get two, and fifty-five divided by five is become ones. Now let's divide top and bottom by two again. This this time we're going to use this quantity. This is where things are going to get. This is where things are going to get prickly. Pay attention. So six divided by two is three. And half divided by two is one quarter. It's one quarter. That's one quarter. You see, half 
you're dividing by two, you see, dividing by dividing something by two is, is taking half of it, and half of half is one quarter. If you have, if you have a, if you only have half a pizza, if you only have half a pizza, and you want to divide it equally between two people, then half, half of half is one quarter. So, this is one quarter. All we have to figure out now is what is 11 times 3 quarter. Let's do it here. Let's do it here at the bottom. 11 times 3 quarters. 11 times 3 quarters. Stay with me, as I said. 11 times 3 is 33. And 11 times the quarter is going to be 11 quarters. 11 quarters. 11 quarters, of course, we understand. 11 quarters, of course, we understand the same as 8 quarters plus 3 quarters. 8 quarters is 2. So it's 2 and 3 quarters, or 2 and 2 thirds. This amount is 2 and 2 thirds. So it becomes 33 plus 2 and, uh, uh, not 2 and 3 quarters, I meant to say. All together it is 35, 33 plus 2, 35 and 3 quarters. I had to make it so crowded because I was saving the room on the other side for the second method. Let's do it, let's do it differently. This time we ask ourselves what is 1% of 550? You know what 1% of 550 is? 1% of 550 is simply $5.50. Whenever, whenever we want to figure out 1% of something, 1% means 1%, 1 over 100. In other words, we are dividing this quantity by 100. If you want to find out, if you want to find out, if you want to find out 1% of something, whatever the quantity is, 1% of any quantity is that quantity divided by 100. And if you divide something by 100, if you divide something by 100, all you have to do is pick up the decimal and move it two spots. It goes here, it becomes 550. 1% is 550. If 1% is 550, we are not interested in 1%, we are interested in 6.5%. So if 1% is 550, that means 6.5% would have to equal, if 1% equals that, then 6.5% would have to equal 6.5 times that amount, 550, which is 5.5. Let's, let's, let's do it together, shall we? Let's do it together. Where should we do it? I'm running out of room completely. Let's do it. Let's do it right here. So we're going to do six and a half times five and a half. Okay. Are you ready? There we go. Six times five is thirty. Six times half. Six times half. Half of six is three. Half of five is two and a half. And half of half is half of five is a quarter. Let's put it in fraction. Half of half of five is two and a half, and half of half is one quarter. Now I have learned my lesson not to try to squeeze two things together on the blackboard. It gets quite crowded and quite ugly. So let's add them up, shall we? So you get thirty plus three, thirty-three. 35, 35, a half and a quarter is three quarters. 35 and three quarters. Oh, that's exactly what we have here. There we go. By golly. It's $35.75. The sales tax is going to be $35.75. So, so all you have to do now is to add $5.50 plus $35.75. I'm going to redo this thing one more time with the entire blackboard. Okay. Just redo this part with the entire blackboard from scratch because it came out to be too ugly, too ugly and too crowded. With more space it will look better. So the amount we have is 550. 1% 1 of 550 is just $5.50. That amount. You just take the decimal and in, in, in 550, the decimal is right here. 
If you want 1%, just pick it up and move it to space, 1 and here. So it becomes 550, which is what, oh, which is exactly what I wrote down, which is same as 550, same as 5.5. I actually wrote it down as 5.5. This is 5.5 dollars, you understand? So that's 1%. We don't want to find out 1%. We want to figure out 6.5%. If you want 6.5%, multiply both sides by 6.5. Voila. That's it. That's what we have to figure out. We just have to figure out what is five and a half times six and a half. Let's do it here. What is five and a half times six and a half? And you can do that without a calculator. You don't need a calculator for it. It's very simple. Just follow it. Follow me. Six times five is thirty. For half of half of five is two fifty. Let's write it in fraction, two and a half dollars. If you have five dollars and you split it equally between two people, each person gets two and a half dollars. So that part is done. Now we do this part. Half of half of six is three, and half of half is a quarter. All you have to do is just add them up. Thirty plus two is thirty-two, thirty-two plus three is thirty-five, and half and a quarter is three quarter, which is same as Thirty-five dollars and seventy-five cents. So the question is, how much are we going to pay all together? Well, it's very simple. We're going to pay five hundred and fifty dollars for the computer itself, and then we're going to have to pay thirty-five dollars and seventy-five cents for the tax, for a grand total of five hundred eighty-five dollars and seventy-five cents. Let's do the last one, okay? This one took a long time. I didn't expect it to take this long. It took a long time. Let's do it. Let's do the last one. Number six. Or rather, number five. I know I wrote down six. Why I wrote down six? You'll see it in a second. In this one, we are told that the base salary was $900 per month. So, I'm a, I'm a sales I'm a sales agent at some store, maybe I sell a car, maybe I sell something, I don't know, some crap I'm selling, and my base salary is $900 per month. And in addition to that, I get 6%, 6% commission. Last month, I sold Last month, I sold fifty-eight thousand dollars worth of crap. The question, my question is, what do I take home? What is my total salary? Total salary. Let's find out, shall we? So again, we know one percent, one percent of fifty-eight thousand would simply be, we just drop the two zeros. If we drop two zero, it becomes 580. That's one percent. That's it, we're done. If we know one percent, if we know one percent, I don't know where I put my red pen. I just had it in my hand a second ago. How does it just disappear? I don't know. Well, this is quite strange. I dropped it this time. Well, we are done. If we know 1%, finding out 6% should not be that difficult. 6% is just going to be 6 times that amount. There you go. That would represent 6%. 6% 6 of 550 would simply be this amount. Let's find out. So let's find out what that is, shall we? If you know 1%, multiply it by 6 and you will have 6%. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 is a 48. 8. Carry 4. 6 is a 30. Plus 4 is 34. So that's how much I will get in commission, plus the fact that I get $900, plus the fact that I get $900 in the base salary. So the question was, what is my total salary? Total salary is going to be 0, 8, 3, 1. Looks like my gross salary for that particular month is going to be $4,380. We'll stop right here. Tomorrow we'll begin a new topic. 
I do not know yet quite what the new topic is because I haven't turned the page. I will when I'm ready. I'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, if you wish to send me the if you wish to get hold of me, you can send me an email at keshwaniprep at iCloud.com. Alright? Bye now.